I'm so moved. I, <laughs> I'm so moved. I, I, I will talk it to you. I'm so moved because I had a great meeting with God there inside in this chapel. And God touched me so moved because it, if it's not a revival, what is revival? Yeah, it's exactly revival because I see mm, much of much love, uh, a lot of love here, and people. So, someone uh, brought me a, a bottle of water, and uh, I saw uh, the girl who who gave a piece of pizza uh, for someone. It's, uh, it's a lot of love here. It's, it's so yeah, I, yeah. I really it's touched by it. It's very simple, very authentic, and very. I, really moved um, I'm impressed about that okay, so I'm incredibly blessed to have this opportunity to be here at Asbury University I heard about this weeks ago and I had assumed that it would have just died out by now and I was thinking about going I was thinking about texting this guy right here my friend James and I'm like nah he's probably gonna be busy then he texted me I'm like that's the Lord speaking we're going <laughs> pack yourself we're going yep. oh yeah so I'm just beyond amazed to be here it's wonderful. I haven't been here too long, but it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and my dream is to to get this uh, and to, to bring it to other cities, to uh, to the airports, to the uh, shopping centers, to to other uh, campuses, universities, and um, and because Christ is in center here, no one no one is pushing here, no one. Uh, no one screaming, very touch, touchable, and uh, very, very deep um, moving of God here. We didn't know if we we're gonna make it in because all the signs are saying revival shut down over capacity, but apparently people didn't care. They came in anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just never know when this chance is gonna happen again. Yeah. So, yeah. We're just honestly, um, I'm just blessed to be here. I'm blessed. I'm highly thankful for the Father for allowing us to come here to see all our bro beautiful brothers and sisters out here yeah. and to see what the Lord does, not just for people who are in Christ, but people who are actually lost and people who, who are hurting from depression, from broken hearts, and who, who suffer from anxiety, people who, who are still suffering from lost families because they need Jesus the most. We are, we're here, and honestly, I just can't wait to see Christ move through us and just get to be beautiful people. It's amazing to be here, just to experience the atmosphere, to experience what the Lord's been doing. We've met people who have been queuing from morning till night to get into the prayer room to receive prayer, to experience God's presence. People whose lives have really been touched and changed. People weeping, people crying. But one of the things which touches me the most is that no one wants to have control over this. All of the leadership, all of the people here want to hold it incredibly lightly. And their desire is not to hold it, not to have people come here, but to have this renewal, have this revival spread into, into universities and schools around the world, into towns and cities, big and small. And yeah, my prayer is really just to see that, to, to see people open their hearts and to create room and space for the Holy Spirit just to come and to touch in wherever you are. So just encourage you to open your hearts and spend time in prayer, spend time just inviting the Holy Spirit because that's what will make the difference.